تيمي مين؟ تيمي تيمي uh, it's an adverb it is an adverb meaning that it's um it's just like uh straight ahead good guess dime dime is the sound that water kind of makes when you like um like like this like the sticky kind of like damp sound water can have um it's used to refer to a damp location but it's like when you like touch something and it's kind of sticky because it's wet Hi. that's a uh, dime dime any idea what namagusai means namagusai it's stinky Yeah, or it's so rotten. specifically, it smells rotten. Yes, smells raw. Perfect. Um, can you read this word for me? Um, to to harden something. It's to harden. In this context, it is um to fortify, but it does mean to harden. Um, do you know how to read it? Uh, ko. That's a good guess. This is kata. Kata. But um. I think there is a coal that looks like that, but uh, like komaru to be troubled looks kind of similar. Koma. Yeah. Katameru to harden. Katameru. Um, can you read this phrase for me? Naka ga. Uh, iki? Iki no mama? That's a good guess. In this um, context, it is uh, nama. Nama. Raw. Yeah. Naka. Naka ga. I forgot what naka ga. Naka as in in the middle of? Yeah, but it doesn't mean in the middle of. Just inside. Inside. Inside or raw? Inside. The inside is still raw. Exactly. The inside is still raw. Perfect. Do you know what kara means? It's uh to. It's a noun. It is a noun. That is correct. Uh uh, uh it, it, it's it's the it's the thing you put the pan on to Good cook. Good guess. Kara means shell. Kara, like an egg yeah. shell. Mm hmm. Egg. Okay. Kara. Um. Can you read this word? Hi. Um. Uh, um, tamago. Hi, tamago. What does tairageta mean? Tairageta. Tairage. It's, it's a passive verb. Um, I guess, yeah. And it's mean to flatten. Yes, to be flattened. Hi. Um, in this context, It's um, tairageta specifically is normally choose not to literally mean to be flattened, like not like you took a ball and you stepped on it. This is used when you flatten a specific kind of thing. Any idea what it would be? A meshi asa meshi ni. Uh, this is a um, chinami ni kozo ga. A ball of rice? An that, that is rice. That is rice that I drew. So when you put rice onto a plate, is the plate flat? Yes, it is. Well, when, when there's rice on it, a big mountain like this, it's flat? It's, it's not. Hi, right, so how would we make this plate flat if there's a big ass mountain of rice on it? You would tie ragita. Exactly, which means that you'd gobble it all up. So now oh, your you plate is up. nice and flat. So, tairageta is tai from flat or piece, is used to say you're getting your plate and you're flattening it, as in you're eating all the food. So, it kind of is a way to like say someone gobbled up food. Um, so, it says, by the way, the things the, boys go the boy gobbled up for breakfast was three muffins, bacon, four eggs, two glasses of tea, um, one glass of milk, some butter porridge, um and also sorry this is the porridge that's something else this is the porridge with um 
nuts and butter and brown sugar. Oh, that just shouldn't be a comma there. Uh, and also an apple. He had a, and also a potato. Ringo. And also a little bit of pie. So yeah, he he really oh. flattened down. The, <laughs> he had a full on big old thing that flattened down on the table. Um, what did kara mean? Kara is uh, kara uh, eggshells or shells hi. in general. Shells, hi. Kara. Um, if you're saying seashell, it'd be a different word. It's kind of just like the shell of something, like like the hardness of a shell, um, like not the hardness, but like the, the circling of the, the the encapsuling something with a slightly hard film, hmm. <laughs> like an egg. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, let's go read the example sentence. Hey, uh, muffin, no. Sato wa. Mm, we say harden was kataku. Hi. Kataku kata de. Tamago no kara no yoda. Hi. So you read this word as sato, which means um sugar or salt. I don't remember which. Shio sato. I think sato, sato is salt. Sato? Sato. Uh, wait, no, sato sugar. I saw the kanji, I'd be like, oh yeah, versus uh, shio. Ba -ba -da -ba. So yeah, sato, sato, sato-san, that is sugar. That's what you read that as. So that is not sato. Any idea how else it could be read? It's uh, oto? Uh, good guess. This is um, soto. So Soto. you got the S right first time, and the second time you got the O right. But you had to combine the two together. Soto. Soto. Muffin no soto. Hai. Katakute. Katakute. Hai. Katakute. Tamago no kara no yoda. The, the outside of the muffin is... The outside of the muffin was hardened like that of an eggshell. Perfect. So doro doro is a sound effect adverb that is kind of like this texture, right? Doro doro, them kind of doro, sticky, doro. gooey, gooey. Yeah, doro doro. And the other one, the swampy one was jime jime. jime. Doro doro jime jime. How do you remember all these sounds words? You watch a lot of anime is part of it. Um, especially older anime. I think newer anime uses less sound effects than they used to do in the good old days. Um, but in general, jime jime like literally sounds exactly what it like. That that's literally the sound if you ever touched something damp before. But you should have, you should, next time you get something damp, you should poke it and listen to the sound it makes. That actually sounds like that. Doro, doro, anime. You gotta, that, that, that's only, I don't know, I don't know why it's automatically, that's a gooey substance. It's just when you get a lot, certain sounds tend to repeat. Um, but yeah, dime, dime just is not like an anime word. <laughs> Versus Doro Doro is one. And it, it just it just literally sounds like it. It's like tick tock. It's the sound of a clock. Um, you go like, oh yeah, that makes sense. Versus some things oh. are just more random. Buzz is the sound of a bee. Sound of clock. So dime, dime. It's like if I was trying to copy the sound of something damp, I'd be like <laughs> <laughs> this is kind of like dime, dime. Um, what is the potential negative form of taberu? Potential. Taberareru. Hai. And the negative? The negative. Taberarenai. Hai. Taberarenai. Perfect. Let's go read this line from the book. Soto wa tamago no kara mitai ni katte. Katakte. Katakte. Biri biri. Pari, pari. No, it can be pari pari. Pari pari. Pop. Yeah. Snap, crackle, and pop. Pari pari. Pari pari. Naka wa. 
生のままでドロドロでもまあ食べられなくはない it cannot be eaten なくはない it must be eaten that's a good guess um so I would start with the first sentence and then I'll help you with the second one which ends with doro doro got a little period there uh it says soto wa the outside it is a it it bitty be it bitty bitty it pops mm -hmm. pop 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 pari pari it pops um it's hardened and it pops. Hi. Hardened in what kind of way? It hardened like that of the eggshells. Hi. And it pops and crack. Yeah, when you're trying to uh, open it, like goes like that. Pop, pop. And uh, it gooey, it doro doro, because it's because the inside is too raw. Exactly. Perfect. So let's go look at taberare nai naku wa nai. So first off, we have taberare naku. What's this ku right here? What is what is what what is, what conjugation is that? It's nai. It's the yes. It's this the is nai. nai. You need turn e into a ku that turns it into an adverb. So we have not taberare do. What does taberare do mean? Uh. Possible to eat. Yes, yeah, so it's not possible to eat. And this is an adverb. We wanted this right here to describe the adjective verb nai. What does nai mean? Nai is not. Is the, so is it the is negative. not not possible to eat. As in, it is not that it's not possible to eat, is how we would say that in English. It is not that it is not possible to eat. It it is not that not, it's not possible. Not that it's impossible to eat. Um, oh. so it's not not it's not not that it's impossible to eat. In other words, he's saying I can eat it. It's not to the extent that it is unedible, right? So you might be easier to just translate this as inedible to avoid the repeating not not multiple times. Not that it's not possible. To eat. <laughs> yeah, well, it's not not possible. To eat. So modest. So so <laughs> so modest. <laughs> okay, so yeah. Perfect. Taberare naku wa nai. Yeah. Taberare naku wa nai. Do you know what a hachi is? It's a bee. It's a bee. Buzz buzz. Um, <laughs> what did tairagita mean? Ah. Gageta is to finish off the food. It does mean that. So if you see this kanji, I'm probably wanting you to remember that it's pronounced as Thai. I'm just being mean. Um, can you read this word? Hachi, which is bee, and then mm. mitsu, which is honey from the bee. This is honey, yes. Hachi mitsu. Oh, yes. Perfect. Um, let's go read the line from the book. Mo hitotsu. One more thing. Hachimitsu o kakete tabete kara bacon mo non non some amount of which Hi, is this is my non my ka tai ragete o cha o nonda drink tea. Drink tea. Um, so one, one, one more thing. Hi. So one more thing. Contextually, what do you think the one more thing is? Chiburaku muffin ga chairo ni natta no de tameshi ni hitotsu tabete mita. Mo hitotsu hachimichi o kakite tabete kara. What is this mohitotsu referring to? Mohitotsu refer to ochao. 
Good guess, but hitotsu is not the counter for ocha. If you want to say more tea, you'd say like, uh, mo ippai. Mo This hitotsu. says, muffin ga chairo ni natta no de, tamashi ni hitotsu tabete mita. Then he talked about it. But, uh, and then he, he also talks about it more. Then he says, mo hitotsu. What is he talking about in this paragraph? What is it? What is he talking about? Let's see. Um, Tame shi ni, in order to test it, in order to test, he told to tap it one, one, one attempt to eat. So a bite or a taste of it. I, I'm going to go over and circle some particles. There's a ga over here, a wa over here, a wa over there. Oh, uh, yeah, I think that's, yeah, those are the only possible subject markers. Where's our switch? Which one do you think is the subject here for the paragraph? The subject of the paragraph is the soto. Good guess. The subject of this specific phrase here is soto, but the reason why we have these two things is because they're doing a comparison here. This is called comparison wa, which is used when you want to be kind of aggressive between these two type of things, because wa is the topic marker. So the topic of this sentence right here that ends with doro doro is soto and naka equally, because they're acting as comparisons to each other. They want you to know that the outside is like this, and the exact opposite is the inside. So that means the subject of the paragraph is not that. The subject of the paragraph then is muffin. Yes. That's why the sentence is, the muffin was brown, so I took a bite of the muffin. The muffin outside of the muffin was hard, but the inside of the muffin was wet. Not only that, the muffin was not to the extent that you could not eat it. Every single one of the sentences here is talking about the muffin. It's not soto of the house. It's not the soto of me. It's the soto of the muffin. It's not the naka of the house or the naka of the bacon. It's the naka of the muffin. So this right here is just all talking about the muffin. So the hitotsu means one. So I decided to try one muffin. And then he was like, meh, it's edible. And so he says, okay, I'm going to eat one more muffin. I see. One so, more muffins. Hmm. Exactly. Another muffin. And what does he do yeah. to this muffin? Um, but uh, uh, he cocked that. Hi. He put on hi. honey. Hi. Khan, this guy. Hi, hi. Tabete <laughs> kara. And after he eat them. Hi. Then we have a new uh, subject. Bacon more. Nan nan so my nan nan my he put a number of he finished off a number of bacon exactly and what else did he do ocha o nonda he drank the tea perfect nice oh Boop, yeah boo. but yeah yeah this whole entire thing talking about the muffin the difference between each sentence is just who's doing what right I try the muffin, I observe the muffin, and I eat the muffin. It's all about that food. Um, mm -hmm. Can you read this word for me? Kuma. Right. That's you a know what I, Yeah. Let's go read this example sentence. Benetto wa kuma mitaida. Benet is like a bear. Hi. Is he like a bear emotionally or physically? He mitai. He looks like a bear. Yeah, perfect. Um, ikatsu is to be like kind of um, grumpy in this context. Literally, it can mean grim or anything like that. But it's some kind of like the, if someone has an ikatsu look on their face, they're going to be like scowling, basically. It's like another way to scowl. Yeah. Ikatsu. Ikatsu. Um, so butsu butsu is a sound effect. It normally goes with you or tsubayaku. Any idea what butsu butsu means? Tsubayaku. Tsubayaku meaning swiftly. Ah, uh, you're right. You're right. That uh, so that that was hard to hear. Um, 
Tsubayaku 100% does mean swiftly. I said Tsubayaku, which, so I'm not pronouncing right. Tsubu, tsub, it's supposed to be Tsubuyaku. My bad. Pronounced it wrong too. Tsubuyaku has this kanji. Oh, it's mean to uh, vomit, isn't it? Good guess. That's haku. Right there. Haku sounds like white or 100 or something. That is correct. Um, haku is the married reading of white, like hakushi, which is white paper. But, uh, these but are just also verbs. Mean, also mean to vomit. But this one is tsubayaku, which means to inhale. Good guess. This is to mutter. To mutter. Yeah. I seen this verb before. You have. I just keep forgetting. You've also heard butsu butsu before. As butsu, a sound butsu effect. Butsu is um. Nanka butsu butsu inagara. While he was mumbling something. Yes, that's exactly what it. Butsu butsu is a sound effect of grumbling under your breath. Perfect. And tsun tsun is a sound effect of your kami doing tateru. You could just fully ignore that. Um, I guess it's like a difference between like if your hair was like full on mohawk. This is more just like general anime spiky hair. So tsun tsun. I don't get it. How does people these? How does people come up with these words? Uh. I think tsun tsun comes from like uh, when they're mad and they go like poof poof. <laughs> it comes from that. So if you're steaming, it's going to be like kind of a porcupine kind of shape. Like I, I feel like it's probably like connected that way specifically for this case because porcupines have spiky hair and they're kind of like they're poofing at you. Um, but this one would be a much harder one to remember than butsu butsu, which literally sounds like someone going butsu butsu butsu. So this one. Good sound I don't effect. Get it, money. This I'm... one is a bad sound effect. <laughs> I'm laughing. This one you to have my... to know. <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm laughing to myself because I, I feel like, like these words, it's like, you just, it's, it's a nonsensical word. You just make a sound and then. <laughs> I mean, all words are like that in a way, right? But this is like, <laughs> like soon soon. From now on, soon soon gonna mean like hair sticking up. <laughs> it's uh, yeah, tsun tsun. You need that n there. Tsun tsun. I don't know what that'd be. That feels like a stinging sound, like you stung your it's hand on something. Money. It's That's like probably it's, <laughs> it's like the equivalent. It's like the equivalent of me saying, "From now on, broom broom is gonna mean car engine going on." <laughs> it does mean that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's interesting how Japanese has um sound effects used in their adverbal system. Cause yeah, in English. That that's kind of only allowed in children books. Buzz buzz goes the bee, buzz or choo choo. You have to feed someone food. And but this baby. is like a fifth grade book. No, now. yeah. Oh, it's fully normal to have sound effects in Japanese novels. There's it's kind of like no other way to illustrate certain things, because there there actually are um, official adverbs. Uh, but like there's certain things like if you're gonna like glance at something i've literally have only ever heard chira to miru, which um chira is the sound effect i don't know how else you would say you glance at someone there, like, as far as i know there's no other way to say that it's always chira. um it just it's, it's just like, different culture like, you know it's um, a flat, right? japanese <laughs> specifically has a very important culture for um reading is very important for all people um, that's like part of the reason why their endings are in short form, right? Rather than being in neutral, polite form or super polite form. Because in English, we're kind of the opposite. We kind of guard writing as um, a snooty thing that only smart people get are allowed to do. Like we, we value everybody being relatively literate, but it's more like a, it's not like the same type of like thing. So like with English, we will say, oh, you're a poor person. You, you don't have a sixth grade reading level or whatever. Like we have the different things separated like that. And it's based off of grammar and things like that where we wanna have more fancy language going on. 
which Japanese had a really big movement when they were officializing the writing system to like make sure that it was something that everybody could read. So I would guess part of that was keeping the sound effects in there. I don't know for sure though. I'm not I I, I did the re like I did the basic research in college about like the writing system. I don't really remember a lot about it. But that would be my guess. <laughs> Is that a big, a big reason why that's, you're, that's not allowed in English is because of our snootiness with our language, how there's like certain writing styles that you're not allowed to do in English because it sounds poor, you know, <laughs> right? It's like, you can't use me, it's I. Sam and I went to the store, not Sam and me, right? That We're is lying. nonsensical. It's, <laughs> it's Sam so and funny. me is absolutely grammarly correct. So, because we actually have words for for adverb for things, right? Yeah. Instead of it's like for it's, it would be the equivalent of us saying instead of we saying the roaring engine, it would be like the broom broom engine. Exactly, and that's what they would say in Japanese. The broom broom. The engine went broom broom. <laughs> but um, the the reason why we look down on one of those meanings though is is culture. Like you, it's not actually because. One of those words is actually more silly than the others, right? It's an actual a culture thing, right? You talk to the baby and say, oh, look, the car's going broom, broom, right? You, you do say that to a little kid, and it's like understood that when they get older, you stop doing that. You say, oh, you're an adult. You're not supposed to say the car goes broom, broom. You have to say it roared its engine. Um, so um, I think in talking Japanese, there's not as many sound effects going on and direct conversation i think there's a couple but um it's it's not to the same extent as the literature i see Makes uh, sense. but i think a big reason why the literature keeps it has to do with that idea that everybody should be able to read like the uh, same thing with like how short form is allowed because if you're talking to people in japanese they're not gonna unless they're really close friends to you they're not gonna be talking in short form Right, they're going to be using mass form, which has slightly different vocabulary and things. Yeah, that was okay. You get to go read the line from the book. <laughs> Hi. Neburi ga nanka butsu butsu inagara um, kaidan o nobotte kita kami ga tsunsun ni tatte ite. Ikatsui kuma mitaida. Ikatsui. What is that one, Mani? That was um like a very harsh looking, like grumpy. Ikatsui, grumpy. Yeah. Ikatsui. So, literally, it means stern, grim, rough, rugged, overbearing, or square. Oh. Ikatsui. Stern. Bear yeah. looks like a stern bear. Bennett had, um, while he was saying some, while he was muttering something, he no bote kita. He arrived. Hmm. Well, he got onto the stairway. Hmm. He no bote. He climbed. Hi. He climbed. And where? Why is the kita here in this context? In other words, he came back. Mm, uh, that is 100% possible that Bennett went up the stairs and then came back. That is a possible translation here. It makes more sense to assume that Khan is up at the top of the stair, stair level. So when Bennett walks up the stairs while muttering something, Bennett is actually entering the scene of where Khan is rather than it being saying that he's returning to the location. Um, both are 100% possible. It is 100% possible we could be saying Bennett is coming back to the scene, but it's not a um, assumption to really make, especially since this book is written in the first person. So, uh, so, so Kita here mean that Bennett is it's climbing the stairs into the the room where Khan is at. Yes, 
That's what the quitas are. We do actually say this specifically in English. Sometimes you say, Bennett came up the stairs. That would tell us, oh, I'm up the stairs and Bennett came up them. So he's going to hang up here versus Bennett went up the stairs would kind of give you a different kind of idea of who's telling the story, right? He went up the stairs. He came up the stairs. Went up insinuates I am downstairs. Bennett went up. He came up the stairs, insinuates I'm upstairs, and Bennett's coming up to join me. So we do specifically have that with the context of stairs for some reason. I feel like that doesn't normally exist in English. This quita though occurs everywhere in Japanese. Um, they will always use it if they can. Versus in English, I think it's more just like a vibe thing more than anything. Like to go up an aisle or down an aisle. Sometimes it's just aesthetics. Uh, here it's always... Um, but yeah, so he came up the stairs, aka toward me, and what did he see? Because he, now we're describing Bennett, because Bennett's entered the room. Hi. Tommy ga sun sun ni. Tatte de. Hi. Uh, it's, his hair is stand up. Hi. Stand up in what way? In a sun sun way. Hi, hi. He's an anime protagonist here. But specifically the shonen one, not like the hair and protagonist. You know, gotta be tsun tsun. Oh, they have a word for an animated hair. Yeah. <laughs> Hilarious. Uh, Ikasui. Grumpy looking. He looks like a grumpy looking bear. Hi, hi. Perfect. Um, do you know what skamu means? Skamu. Ska. Skamu. Skamu is to. Skamu? To wander Hi. around? Good guess. Um, I'm not sure what word you're thinking of, but something you can skamu would be nakami. Robo no pake ni tsukomi. Nakami o tsukande. Tsukande. Sukamu is to cover something? It is close to covering, so that is a good guess. But um, tsukamu specifically is to have your hand close itself around something. This is used to mean like to grab, but in English it's closer to the word to grasp, right? Because it uh, that's what grasping means. It means you close your hand around an object normally. Um, Sometimes we'll translate it as to grab, but grab in English means to grasp something and bring it toward your body, which tsukamu does not actually have the bringing toward your body meaning uh, inside of it. Kind of like tatsu, which means to stand, actually only means to be in an upward position. So you can stand in Japanese and be walking at the same time, which in English is not possible because tatsu, because stand means to stand still means do not walk around if you're standing um, and it'd be on your feet would be actually a more accurate translation of tatsu um, but it's weird to say he was on his feet when I entered the room so I got on my feet would work um, but yeah so it's to grasp it's kind he grasps the contents and then he does what what's the other verb here hanasu Hi, he lets go uh, good guess. So hanasu can mean to let go. Over here, though, the particle here that's attached is karada, which is the body. So contextually, we know he grasps the contents and separates himself from the body. Um, so he, so that this is how we made it to mean to grab in that context, because his hand is around the objects. Can you read this word for me? Chama. Hi, so jama is a not adjective and it means to be in the way. Can you read this example sentence for me? Deshi wa jama ni natta no de. Ma jutsu shi wa do na da. To make a large noise. Good to guess. Go do is do. The kanji for do here is okoru, which means mad. So donaru means to do. yell. Do from okoru. 
どうという起こるどうるこるどうどうなるとやうはいどうなるとやう The magician y e l l、um, because because the apprentice was in the way 邪魔になったのでなった was from なるので so be, because it came to be that the apprentice was in the way the magician yell exactly perfect can you read、why、this for me is, what money、mm -hmm. why why do people tend to end thing with the なる instead of just the ある like Why can't they just say it is a certain way? They have to say it c o m e to be this.、Um, so, aru is used for like physical qualities of something. So, if、um, he was a jama、um, with an aru, that would mean like he's always a bother, but he came to be a bother in this specific、um, occasion. So, it's at the moment that we're like, oh, he's a bother, but he's not always being a bother.、Um, But you're right that Nadu is definitely used more often than it is in English.、Um, but it, it kind of more has to do with what the words mean, are probably a little different than what the words mean in、um, English. Like Jama, right? To be a bother, <laughs> it's kind of the only way you can really describe it. But to be here, that's not in that. Jama is an adjective. But it's. Kind of not an adjective in English. Like you could say a bothersome kid, but bothersome is more like a noun. But because it's when he's being a bother, right?、Um, I guess being is turning into a verb, but that's kind of what the nadu is doing here. So you could more accurately could say suru,、um, jama ni suru. Or, well, that, that is sitting, he's doing it on purpose, but jama suru, to be doing a bother, right? That's a thing. But that would still kind of insinuate the kid is doing it on purpose. So, the nadu here is very specifically saying he didn't mean to do it because nadu is more of a passive becoming versus sudu does have a little bit more of intent behind the、um, action occurring. Got it, Mona. Thank you. That's a, that's a good clarification. So, he came, he came to be it unintentionally、exactly. for this particular situation only. He's not. He's、Always not a arguing all the time. Exactly.、Um, can you read this word? Kimi ga werumeto o hanare hanareta. Hi. Do toki toki. This is jiten. Jiten de. Jiten de ni 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 dai to. Ni do. Ni do to modora. Meto Kimete ita noa shite iru. Hi. This iru mean it is the, the state of the, the, the it is the, it is always like that. This is not naru. This is. Yes. He's saying,、iru. I am in the knowing that you had decided. That you will not again return when you're at the jiten of doing this. <laughs> Money, if, I, if, if for fun, what if this was shite naru? Like、I、shini naru? To... That would insinuate I just came to this、um, information.、Uh, <laughs> kind of weird. <laughs> shini naru.、Um, in general,、um, you would actually use kuru to do that, as naru is not used with verbs. Unless it's negative. So you could say, I did not come to know this. Oh, not to、um, use with now. Yes. Or adjectives. Nouns or adjectives. Whereas this one would be shita kuru. I came I, to know it. Yeah. So kuru is actually the version of naru.、Uh, Ooh, this is so、oh, yeah. interesting. What did hanareta mean? Hanareta, past tense of. Uh, leaving. Yeah, to separate、Re、from. Perfect. 
cool, cool. Okay, let's go read this example sentence, this line from the book. Hi. Veneto ga ocha o ireru? Ma was a really good guess, as that mm. is its friends Ai. with benefits reading. Aida. Um, Aida, yes. Okay, so all of this modify Aida. Hi, which is a time phrase. Well, it's mean that Knee during, has been dropped. During the, the t during the like during the time when Bennett, uh, Bennett was putting putting into the tea. Into is not specifically in the sentence, but he is probably putting this into a teacup or a kettle. Hi, hi. Into something. Uh, right. Jama ni nara. Na uh, he puts he puts the ocha. <laughs> he puts the ocha into something we don't hi. know. Not specified, but logically, it's probably like a cup, right? Yeah. Tea kettle for more. And then he jama ni nara nai yo ni hanarete ita. Hi. Uh, so Vinette is separated. Mm -hmm. Oh, good guess. So it's very common in Japanese for time phrases to be a way in Japanese to allow them to be multiple subject in a sentence. It's relatively rare in a natural Japanese sentence that whatever is above a toki, if there is a um, action going with it, normally who's doing the action will be separate from whoever is doing the actual final verb thing. Um, if it's like an adjective or something like chisai toki, then it's the subject like when I was little. Um, but in general, it's much more common with uh, bunetto ga ocha o hairu, I'm sorry, uh, ire, ireru aida is normally when, when Bennett was pouring the tea, I was doing this is uh, more common. I see. So while Bennett was making the tea, jama ni naranai. Yoni, so as not to, right? This yoni is like in order, like he doing right. this so that he's not going to get separated. Yeah, the verb hanarate ita. Um, yo is in order to, but it's in order to relative clause this, right? Just like this is when relative clause this. It's not. When I hanareta, that'd be incorrect. You went backwards. You can never go backwards in Japanese. You're always going forward. I don't know what directions are. You have to always go up. You can't go down in Japanese. In order to not to be a hindrance. Hi, hi. I, I separated. Yes. And the idea he's physically separating from Benet in order not to become a hindrance. I kept a distance in order hi, not hi. to be a uh a jama in order not to be exactly. an obstacle well Bennett during the time when Bennett was making tea exactly perfect and that's scary after all with this tsun tsun ni tatte ita kami um do you know what a shosai is shosai is a bookshelf close as shodana there will be books in a shosai a shosai is a office but specific, but not like a principal's office, but more like an office in your house. So that's where all your books and your computer and all your junk is in. Um, do you know what I mean? This word, which means large building. A tower is tall. Perfect. Um, can you read this phrase for me? No set that. Gun. Ha ha ha. Ha konde. Ha -konde. Huh. I always get these bu and mu word all mixed up. Yeah. This one is I came to to carry. 
That is definitely possible. In this specific sentence, the subject is not I. The subject is uh, Su Jin, who's over here, the um, innkeeper of the Shokodai, who is whatever that is, the oh. cafeteria location. So he, in this case, is coming. You could use back toward me if you wanted to here. Um, but he's just coming, okay. carrying um, a Goodness. Sara. But uh, specifically, it says he's coming back carrying no korimono, which is the leftovers. Um, but the leftovers is no sutad on a sara, which is placed on a plate. So contextually, we know he's carrying the plate with the leftovers on it, even though literally it's actually saying, um, I set the leftovers on the plate and carried it right to the um, me. <laughs> and he carried it toward me is a literal way to translate it. And the it in the context is referring to the plate or the nokori mono, both would be fine interpretations. You want to hear it say muffin to isho ni. Hi. Muffin together with the leftovers. Yes. Were placed on the plate. Hi. And he came carrying all those things. Yes. Look at that. Do you know what an oban is? Oban. Oban is a table? Um, close. Oban is a tray. Oban is a tray. You will also see this word when we're referring to a certain festival in Japanese. But in this context, it's meaning tray. Any idea how to read this word? Uh, shousai. Yeah, shousai. What is a shousai? Shousai is an office in your house. Perfect. Let's go read the example sentence. <laughs> Kuma no yo jinbo yo jinbo j yo jinbo wa waga ha waga no no yo jinba wa waga meaning arrows uh show sai ni our office Oban o hakonde kita. So waga kind of can be used to be used for R. Um, like you're not totally wrong with that. But specifically, it's just old man I. I. Um, is what it is. Um, wareda, wareda is like for like old man us. Waga just mean I. Yeah, oh, but it, it can be used, I believe, to refer to multiple people without a pluralizer. Like, Money. you might say my home rather than my, um, our home, I guess, is what we'd be saying. But Why I not? think in this case, instead of he saying watashi, mm -hmm. he just, as they get older, they just get more and more lazy. So they just exactly. drop, start dropping sounds. Yeah. The, so instead of watashi, it's just wa. Yeah, the takushi all gets dropped. First, the ta got dropped, became watashi. And then they go, Rup. yep, exactly. Yep. They just drop everything. So lazy. <laughs> lazy speech. Waga saisho ni oban o hakonde kita. So the, the bodyguard bear, the bodyguard, the bear bodyguard. Hi. Uh, he, he, he carrying, he came I, carrying the tray, uh, into my office. Perfect. That's exactly what it says. Do you know how to read this word? Uh, asa, sho, sho, shokudai, shokudai is the, the cup, the, uh, breakfast. The cost of breakfast. It is a cost of breakfast. Yep. Cho shokudai. How about this word up here? Cho shokudai. Uh, koka, meaning coins. Perfect. Copper coins. Um, let's go read the line from the book. Beneto wa cho soku o obani no se. Uh, uh, Sandai no Shosai ni iru Beneto ni 
あ運んでいたあベネット、ヒーン、ヒーノセタ、ヒーヒーセット、ブレックフェス、オンドトレイズ、エンヒー、ヒー、ヒー、ケーム、ケリエンド、ヒー、イタ、イ、イ、イ、イタ、イ、イ、ライ、イル、あ、イク。Oh, this is Iku. So he, he came, he came. Opposite、carrying. of came, he went. He went. Oh my goodness. He went away, basically. He g o n e away where the speaker is. So he, ne Neburi is in a different location. So、Hi. he went to Neburi carrying the, you know, the, the Oban. Hi.、Uh, Uh, with the breakfast on top of it and、uh, to the third floor. Yes.、Um, to the office on the third floor. Perfect. So、um, you read third floor wrong. You were correct that there is Rendaku here, but it's not、um, by, it's Gai. So K turns into G. Kai Gai. Sangai. 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 Sangai no Sangai no s h o t s a i ni iru b e n e t To b e n e t who is on the third floor. Yep, to n e b e r i who is on the, in the third floor. To n e b e r i who is on the office of the third floor. Hi, hi. What did Ikatsui mean? Ikatsui. A gr grumpy looking, like menacing hi, hi. looking. How about Butsu Butsu?、Uh, that is. Uh, breaking, crackling open. Good guess.、Um, that's pari pari, which we did see in this as well. Butsu butsu is, is more、um, vocaling noises humans are making. It's like the mumbly sounds. It's more grumbly.、Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm so glad that these sound words. <laughs> I can't remember. It doesn't help that it doesn't have a root word. It also doesn't help that it doesn't have. Some、pot. of them will have root words, like aka aka as a root word. It's a root word. Aka. Aka. aka aka is either that aka, aka, or it's、oh、that,、man. which either means super bright or super red. So a lot of the sound effects do actually have root words.、Um, that one doesn't have a root word, but a lot of them do. Like doro doro, for example, which is the sound of something being sticky, comes from doro, from dorobo, which means mud, right? Doro、oh. doro. Is the sound of <laughs> mud. Doro, doro is mud, mud, mud. Yeah. Because、um, mud, you know, is that kind of velocity of doro, like if it's a good mud mixture, like the kind the kids make the muddy pie out of.、Um, so it's so,、yeah. a, so about, I think, like at least half of the sound effects do actually have a root that is related to them.、Um, Even though they they kind of return them into sound effects. Same with like a doki doki. Maybe that one doesn't have it.、Um, but you could always look them up in the dictionary to see if there is a offered up kanji for them. And that would tell you whether or not that word has a root sound effect for it.、Um, so on the last page, we had butsu butsu. Butsu butsu. But yeah, butsu butsu is literally just the sound of someone making butsu butsu noises.、Um, does not have a offered up kanji. But yeah, the, so some of them do have kanji. I would guess like half of them do. I feel like it's relatively, it's like more common than you would think.、Um, but the most common sound effects, like the sound effects that really sound like something, don't normally. <laughs> Have kanji and the sound effects that are kind of more nonsensical tend to have a kanji.、Uh, so, they're just, so that, that kind of is how it is.、Um, how do you read this word? Oete. Hi, oete to finish. Perfect. How about atatakaku nari? Atatakaku nari.、Um, to be. To. to, to... <sighs> Atatakaku. Atataka. To become like on point. 
That's a good guess. It is to become atatakaku, which what is this ku right here? It's an adverb. Hi. Why? What? What did it used to be? It used to be e. What is atatakai? That sound more familiar. Uh, atatakai. Uh, atatakai is the same word. Where is this from? Uh, this means warm. It's warm. Atatakai. Yes. Atatakai has the same kanji from danro. Oh, I see. Warm. Atatakai is an e adjective. Hi, e adjective. Yep. Kaze ga yanda. Akari ga kyu ni atatakaku nari. Shizuka ni natta. The wind stopped and the surroundings quickly became warm and it also became quiet. Atatakai. Um, can you read this word for me? Tabe oe. Finish eating. Finish eating. Perfect. Can you read this word for me? Tabe mi oe. No mi. No mi. Oe. No mi oe. No, no mi oe. To finish drinking. Perfect. Can you read this phrase for me? He got kurete kara. Hi. Well, the sun was setting. Yeah, but after the, the sunset. Hi. Was... Um, do you know what nozoku means? Nozoku. Uh, to nozoku is to. Kado no moko o. To head towards. Good guess. Um, because oh. you do have head towards up here. Um, this muko is just the opposite. So opposite of the corner. Um, nozoku means to peer, to peek at. So I try to peek to the other side of the corner while crouching. Nozoku. Hi, to crouch. While crouching, I try to peek onto the other side of the corner. Hi, hi, hi. Can you read this word? Oh, uh, the, the don ro, the fireplace. Perfect. How about this phrase? Katrada o atata meru. The body meru. The body something warm yeah correct it does it warms up so atatameru is just the verb form of atata atatakai um the meru just so you know is that you're it's a verb now not an adjective so oh, he's warm the enough. body is warming up in the Hi. it's a passive word it's it's saying my body is warming up like yes it, i'm not it's doing it to itself Hi. So let's go read the line from the book. Uh, ocha o no mi oe. I finished the drinking the tea. Danro no hi ni atate kara da o atatame te kara. What um um I uh, the the body began to warm up. Uh, um, atat, atate, meaning like hitting. Money, uh, what's atate? Atari? You were right. It is ataru, which can be translated as a hit in very, very specific um context. What is the actual meaning of ataru? Do what you know? The actual meaning of ataru. Ataru Hi. is to strike. It can be used to mean to hit or to strike. Oh, to however, to, 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 to touch. It does. It means to come into contact with something. So literally, it says he comes into contact with this. By the context, he's not literally sticking his hand straight into the fire. He's probably just kind of hovering it right where the heat of the fire begins. Um, so just the, so when you can touch that heat, you're theoretically you're touching the fire. I, I guess in Japanese, like the the you wouldn't have to say I touched the 
air in front of the fire. Because <laughs> if you can feel the fire, right? Because if you can feel it, theoretically, you're touching it, right? <laughs> I touch so, the fire. Yeah, but not not what that would mean in English, what it means in Japanese. <laughs> Which Mani, in English... This, this kara is, is it saying that after, like I do this and then I do something else? Yeah, after I warm my body with, my body warms up. Yes. Right. After my body warms up, ore mo sangai ni agate. I also went up to the third floor. Uh, so that I can no zoi no zoi to uh, I also went up to the third floor to um no zoi de no zoi de mita to to take a peek take a peek to try to take a peek at the office. Perfect. So 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 sai. Hi, and that is actually where we'll be. Pausing um, for today. Any questions before we go? Bonnie, what's the Japanese word for I'm so sleepy? Namui? Sugoku namui? Namui. Namui. I need to uh, oyasumi. So, so, oyasumi. It's Hi. like good night. Ah.